Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan Jenkins from Steel Camel. Some people call me Professor Dan. Uh, we are in the business of solving water problems. And today, we're going to talk about solving water problems in fuel tanks and oil tanks, and particularly two types of water. Water that's on the bottom, called free water, and water that's up in the fuel column, called suspended water. We have a solution for this problem, and it is called the Camel Tail. It's an innovative sock with our patented water removing technology. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to add a little water. So this is going to add about 16 ounces of water to diesel fuel or a gasoline tank, biodiesel. We also work on transformer oil, anything with water in oil or fuel. Okay. Let me tell you a little bit about the sock. The sock comes in two sizes. This one is 18 inches long by two inches wide. It's for a three inch opening. It's got little weights in there, okay? It's on a robust string and it's on a robust grabber. That's our bigger sock. We also have a smaller sock, which is one inch wide, 18 inches long. It holds about four to 16 ounces. The bigger one holds about 16 to 18 ounces. Again, it has very robust fabric has a very robust string and a robust grabber. Um, unique product and for people that have water problems in tanks, in backup generators, in cranes, in snowmobiles, in boats, anything with a straight drop, we do really well. And a lot of people say, well, Dan, how do you use it? How do you use it? Well, let me show you how to use it. So you take the sock and eventually you want it to blow up like this so the water blows up like a pillow. So you just simply take it you drop it in the tank, like that, it lays down, and you pull it out, and this goes outside the fuel cap. I like to show you another way we do it as well. So we have the smaller one, again this is for the two inch opening, same thing, drop it in, secure it, and it's done. That's it. If you agitate it, stir it up, you'll speed it up. A lot of people want to know, Dan, how long does it take to work? Well, that depends on how much water you have on the bottom. So as you can see, we have some free water on the bottom. And if you just keep stirring it up, it takes one to two days. If you have suspended water high up in the fuel column, it can take three to four days. It doesn't matter if it's gasoline that's even bonded to alcohol or water that's bonded to alcohol, hydraulic fluid, diesel fuel, it works. You just gotta stir it up once in a while, agitate it, and you're good to go. Um, we sell these things online and through dealers. If you're interested in it, give us a call, 813-877-4665, or visit steelcamel.com. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. This is Dan Jenkins again. In the previous segment, we talked about the Camel Tail Water Absorbing Sock. It has uses in forklifts, cranes, backup generators, oil, diesel, gas. In this segment, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to show you how it actually works. And two, we're going to do a little progress report on 24 hours in fuel. So first, we're going to show you how skinny it is right here. So it's this robust fabric, and it's got this special polymer inside the fabric. So right now, I'm going to drop it in the water. And we'll come back to it in about 30, 40 seconds. Now let's take a little progress report on our socks from yesterday. First, we're going to do the big one. As you can see, it's puffing up. It's absorbing the water and it's holding the water. So the first cavity is pretty much full. It's a, it's a total pillow. The second ones are working on it. And this one's starting to puff up, as you can see. So that one's working really well. It takes a little longer in the fuel because the water is bonded to the fuel. And again, if you agitate it, it will work much faster. Let's do the second one. Let's see, whoops. There's our smaller one that holds four ounces of water. As you can see, it's puffing up. It's puffing up, it hasn't done it completely, but it's puffing up and it's got an ounce or two of water. So it's got an ounce or two of water more to go. Again, we're gonna lay it back down and we're gonna agitate a little bit and that will continue to absorb the water, both the free water and the uh, emulsified water. Now let's come back to our side. Let's see how we're doing. Pick it up. 
as you can see, it is puffy. It is solid. It is like a piece of salami or a piece of sausage. And that's how it works. And this robust fabric will hold it all in place and it won't let it go. So that's the segment for today. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll do one last final report on how the sock works. Hello everyone, this is Dan again from Steel Camel. We're in segment three of our little series on the water absorbing sock for different types of fuels and oils and different types of tanks like cranes and backup generators. We now have had an opportunity to have our socks uh, sit here for about 48 hours. Let's see how they're doing in absorbing water. So we'll take out the first one. Let's see how she's doing. As you can see, they're puffed up with water. Now we've agitated them about twice a day over the last 48 hours, just kind of moving the water around. And as you can see, they're quite puffed up quite well. So that's number one. That's our bigger one. This holds about 18 ounces of water and I could feel it. Okay, we'll put that in here. Let's look at our second one. This one holds about four to five ounces of water and we definitely got puffing in all three sections. So it's done a good job of removing the water. And again, it just sits on the bottom and it's got little weights in there to hold it down. And it's got this nice string. We'll put that over here. So let's just see overall how we did. So again, we start off with about a gallon and a half of fuel, diesel fuel. And we're gonna see how we do. show you. So we start off with about 16 ounces of water in our little fish tank. Let's see how we're doing. So on this one, we still got about a half ounce of water on the bottom. And on this one, uh, we got, let's see, you see water down there? Not too much. So overall, we're successful at performing, removing water from diesel fuel, hydraulic oil, gasoline, biodiesel, if you're interested in our product, give us a call 813-877-4665 or visit us at steelcamel.com.